You know when you were a kid and you wanted to play with your sibling or your friend or anybody else, but they wouldn't let you play with them? And so you'd go to your mom and you'd be like, Mom, they won't let me play with them. Tell them to let me play. Well, imagine doing that as a grown ass adult. And funnily enough, that's exactly what we're talking about today. A streamer who is actually a Twitch partner who threw an entire temper tantrum just because three women said they didn't want to play with him in Dead by Daylight. Now, if that sounds ridiculous to you, wait until you see the lengths he goes to when they tell him no. And remember, if you liked today's video, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And let me know what you think of this whole story in the comments below. But without much further ado, let's get into it. So our story starts with three streamers who go by the name of Sar Streams, Spooky Snowflake, and Real Booty Queen, which is an excellent name, let's be honest. <laughs> And basically these three were co-streaming together. They were playing as a trio of survivors in Dead by Daylight and they had been streaming for about an hour when somebody by the name of <coughs> came into Saar's stream and asked if he could join the trio. And in response, Saar was actually really polite and just explained <coughs> why she wouldn't be letting him join this time. I'm so sorry. Not doing open lobbies today. Today I am uh, swimming with Spooky and RBQ. So cool. Boundary set. You've explained very nicely, to be fair, exactly why you're not letting anybody join the lobbies. And any normal person would have taken that and been like, okay, cool, I'll join the open lobbies when they're next available. But not this guy. No, no, no. Instead, what this guy did was go into Spooky Snowflake stream and start spinning a web of lies. To be specific, he said that he was a friend of Sars and that Sar had actually said it was perfectly fine for him to join which we know isn't the case. Well, as of right now, we are doing a collab stream. Um, so it's really up to the others too. But as of right now, we're, I think we're just doing us three, but I do appreciate you potentially wanting to. Oh, you know, sorry. I mean, if Sarah's down for it, I don't mind. As she said, uh, is that her lobby? So I asked you, oh, maybe, yeah, we can, we can get you in here. So <laughs> managed to manipulate his way into the lobby and actually was invited and joined briefly before Sar realized what happened managed to get him kicked from the lobby, and then again explained why she was not allowing anybody to join in on their trio gaming. I think we're actually going to play trios, if that's all right. We're gonna do trios for now, right now, because it's not super fair if I'm not host hosting open lobbies and then we have somebody in. And that's what I was saying is like, I'm not hosting open lobbies today. I am just doing the trio, but I am going to be hosting open lobbies on Sunday. But once again, just can't take no for an answer and instead decides to start throwing a tantrum in her chat saying that he should be allowed to join and it was unfair and this and that and the other to the point where he actually got timed out for 10 minutes. He then waited the 10 minutes and came back and said, maybe that was a little bit too harsh, don't you think? And proceeded to join their lobby without invitation and complain in their chats about how he wasn't allowed to play with them. Yeah. He even went as far as to join the lobby and leave a little message for them in the lobby chat. Yeah, these guys are sad. Not the person who has spent the last half hour or so incessantly trying to play with the three streamers. No, no, no. It's the three streamers who are the sad. Oh, the irony is just too much, isn't it? Now, <coughs> was banned in all three streams, but unfortunately, he wasn't done there. And I do have to issue a bit of a trigger warning here because we are going to be talking about transphobia. Now, decided that the best course of action was to message Saar privately and start complaining about how he actually was invited in and it's not fair that they didn't do it and just this, that, and the other, which eventually culminated in these messages. You said it's not my lobby, so I asked the lobby owner. Not what she said. Nah, it's just trashy and you're fake as fuck. You're fucking soft, I, says the one who's complaining because they weren't allowed to play Dead by Daylight with the streamers. Again, I'm gonna keep coming back to that. You have no leg to stand on, bud. And then, seemingly out of nowhere, they decide to go for the cutthroat. Pronouns are just a made-up mental illness. If you have a dick, you're a man. Now, the reason he puts this, something which I haven't actually mentioned yet, is because Spooky Snowflake is a trans streamer. So, because he wasn't allowed to play with her, he deemed that an appropriate thing to do was send transphobia and attack somebody for their identity. Good job, man. He then signs off by saying, it's science, see ya hick. Now, shall we talk about the fucking ridiculous nature of trying to quote science, acting as if you are some learned individual, and that's why you are against trans people, when you don't even know what the appropriate use of apostrophes and any type of punctuation is? 
I'm not trying to shit on anyone's intelligence here, but if you're really going to be trying to make it out, like the reason you are being transphobic is because you are some sort of intelligent being and it's actually science, then maybe you should back that up with how you use grammar. And I do also want to take a moment here to talk about transphobia and how prevalent it seems to be at the moment. Trans people are getting attacked a lot on the internet, especially if you're on Twitter, which let's be honest is a cesspool anyway. But the identities of trans people are really under attack through laws in America, through the way that people are spoken about on Twitter and the way that Twitter deals with that kind of thing, et cetera, et cetera, I could go on. But it really fucking sucks that somebody can't even play a game of Dead by Daylight and have their own boundaries set with who they do and do not want to play with in that moment without being harassed because of their identity. And obviously this guy is not the type of guy who can be reasoned with. He very clearly flew off the handle as soon as he was told no. But this kind of thing happens far too often. People who are being attacked for their identity just because they do something or are something that a certain other person finds offensive in some way. The whole point of this segment is basically just to ask anybody who's watching to back any transgender people you know. Whether they are a creator, a friend, a family member, have their back. Tell them they are valued, tell them they are loved, and make sure that when people like this float to the surface, as unfortunately they often do, you are there to tell them exactly why they should not listen to people like this. Exactly why people like this are just fucking disgusting, hateful, bigoted individuals who shouldn't have any of their words actually taken to heart in any manner. If you know a trans person, tell them that they are valued, tell them that they are loved. And to anybody who's watching this who is trans, you are valued, you are loved. And don't ever think people like this have anything worth listening to coming out of their mouth because they just fucking don't. Anyway, back to the story, which does actually have a happy ending. Off the back of all of this stuff that happened, Real Booty Queen, Spooky Snowflake, and Sars Streams decided that they were going to talk about this on Twitter and ask the Twitter community to report <coughs> for his behavior. So they uploaded a tweet. They put a high stream on Twitter. Please, please report this stream into Twitch for the hateful conduct. They have been harassing my friends because we didn't let them join our lobby. Fucking pathetic. I just have to reiterate. Fucking pathetic. When we were trioing last week, they threw tantrums in both streams, joined our lobby to call us sad. Oh, did I mention, by the way, that this guy has just under 20,000 followers on Twitch and he's a partner? Did I mention that? Did I mention that this is the caliber of people that apparently can make it to partner? Did I also mention that this is a grown ass man? I probably did, but I'm going to keep mentioning it because it's fucking stupid. And off the back of all of the reports that came because of this, <coughs> was banned two days ago, which we love to see and rare at the moment, Twitch win. And as you can probably imagine from his previous behavior, <coughs> had plenty to say about this. He even went so far as to tweet about this and say, how is it transphobic to believe in biology? I did not say you don't have rights or call you names. I said he one night. Yeah, you have all harassed me and brigaded to get me banned, which is against Twitch policy. Twitch, you should do something about this harassment. He then added on to that, I also only said one thing. It was not harassing, and I said it to SARS streams, not directly to the person. Doesn't make it any better. I don't know Spooky Snowflake, bullshit, and did not harass them. I simply said to SARS, if you have a dick and balls, you are a guy, plain and simple. Now, let's go back to what this guy said, shall we? Because... There are many lies in this tweet here. So let's start with, I simply said, if you have a dick and balls, you're a guy, plain and simple. The guy doesn't even remember what he said because he said nothing about balls. The only thing he said was, if you have a dick, you're a man. He also said, pronouns are just made up mental illnesses. Is this biology? Hmm. I don't think it is, is it? So I wonder why you left it out of talking about it. I wonder why when you tried to play the victim... You left, you left this little part out. Now let's go back as well to you saying, I don't know Spooky Snowflake. Hmm, interesting. Because I'm pretty sure you follow and subscribe to them on Twitch. I thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Also, thank you so much for the tier one sub. We are just going to do trios for now, if that's, if that's cool. So unless you just are the type of charitable individual to go giving out tier one subscriptions to any random person you meet without ever actually acknowledging their name, kudos to you if you are, then this is a pure lie. And then finally, let's talk about this. I said it to Sarge streams, not directly to the person, as if that makes it any better. It doesn't, all right? It doesn't. If you are spewing transphobia in any format to anyone, it is not acceptable and is just as bad as if you were saying it directly to a person as well. 
in all cases, you are effectively eradicating or attempting to eradicate a trans person's identity. That's not acceptable. <laughs> it's just not. And it will always count as transphobia. I don't know how this guy managed to get to 20,000 followers, hit Twitch partner when this is the kind of thing he does, where he disrespects people's boundaries when they say, hey, no, we don't want to play with you. We're currently doing our own thing to the point where he forces himself into the lobby uninvited multiple times, not ever taking no for an answer. And then when all that fails, resorts to harassing somebody through DMs and being incredibly bigoted and transphobic about the people who wouldn't let him play with them. I don't know how all of that can happen. And you're the type of person who is perfectly acceptable in Twitch's eyes to represent them at the highest order. It makes no sense to me. And it's really, really, really nice to see Twitch do something about this guy and get him banned. And I hope to God it stays that way. I hope he doesn't get unbanned in like a week, like some people we know of, and that he stays well away from the Twitch community where he cannot spew his bullshit anymore. Now, of course, the three streamers involved are all still streaming on Twitch, and it would be awesome if you go and show some love to them, to Saar, Spooky Snowflake, and of course, Real Booty Queen. I will leave all the links to their channels in the description if you want to go and show them some love. Drop them a follow, say hi to them, tell them they're awesome. They dealt with this in a really, really fantastic way, and they should be applauded for how they went about it. And like I said, if you know anybody who's trans, go and show them some love. Go and throw some positivity at them and throw some love at them. I'm sure they would really appreciate it. And throw some love at the video if you're still here. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what you thought of all of this. Thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And go out there and be the best damn crying that you can be. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never you know give I'm it. gonna take, take, taking that crown from you.